Hello everyone, this is Daniel Nunez with OneStopEnergies.com. Today I'm going to show you a free energy work in the progress. So let's check this out. We're using Vortex coils today. And uh, let's look up on the roof. That's an old antenna. That's a plane. But that's an old antenna. And uh, that old antenna is not being used because nobody uses uh, that type of television antenna anymore. So what we're doing here is we're running that wire down from the antenna over down this way into our POE Mini. And what's happening here is that we're collecting the energy from the antenna with this little simple circuit for rectifying radio wave signals. So what we're doing is we're collecting electricity over here. So as I change the frequency, I'll be able to generate more power because right now I'm actually using less power. So resistance is all the way down. The coil is not resonating right now. So I'm able to charge up my little capacitors over here. So you're looking at the DC voltage that's 1.9 volts and that's charging up those two little capacitors there and uh, these are buffering capacitors so those regulate the frequencies the little black diodes they force energy in one direction so it uh, it creates a mandatory charge into those two capacitors now I have a different circuit this is the same SEC circuit we've been running for pretty much majority of our experiments. I've got a 1 mega ohm potentiometer on there and a 3.4 volt LED. So, so you can see we've already charged up to one, uh, excuse me, 2 volts. And let's go ahead and spike this energy. This is all free energy and let's give it the right frequency and I'm just turning that little knob there you go so you saw the flash that discharged my capacitors and now they're charging back up again and let's look for that frequency again there it goes discharge my capacitors let's do it again so I'm lowering the frequency and then raising it back up. So give it a little charging time there. There it goes. That's a, a spike of free energy. So I'm tuning this. This is a SEC circuit. It's like a Jewel Thief. So a lot of people know about Jewel Thief circuits already pretty good at pulling uh, or there's a lot of playing activity going on today but the jewel thief circuits are good for oscillating lights at low wattage input it's charging up okay so those are just little flashes of energy those are the discharges on those two very very tiny capacitors so otherwise those little caps would never light they wouldn't even take a 3.4 volt LED so um, you know let alone sustain the light for long duration so it's just a little small scale proof of concept here nothing under the table see it's just we're recollecting electricity from the antenna. It goes up to the house and uh, we're rectifying all that radio wave that's being picked up. And then we're using that same signal to come in here. I also forgot to mention that the negative ground has to go right into the dirt. So this is my negative right there. 
So if I take this off, the whole process stops. So I have to plug this right into the ground and give it a good negative discharge in order for the electricity to stay in these capacitors. So one last time, we're at 1.4 volts and let's discharge the capacitor. There we go. So, very novel effect, but that's free energy coming from the antennas that are pretty much scattered around everywhere. Everybody's got them, nobody's using them. And uh, yeah, this is a good way of getting some free light. So, scaling this up, we would change up some of these circuits advance this uh, circuit to pick up radio wave frequencies and then we can oscillate the energy using these vortex coils so I know I said one last time before but let's just do it again <laughs> so it's charging up frequency is very low and now we're raising the frequency finding the resonance point and boom there goes some light all right thanks for watching if you have any comments questions or feedback feel free to post in the comment section below as always take care blessings love and many thanks to you all and uh, free energy is in our future thanks for watching